Taurus, what's good? It's Magic D. Let's get into it. Today is Wednesday the 26th. We're going to do a 48-hour read for you. It's going to be general 26th through the 28th. Let's get into it. All right, Taurus, we're going to use the Mystic Mondays deck. Ding! Let's do it. <clears throat> it's Magic D. And like, share, and subscribe below. Let me know in the comments if anything resonates with you, sounds familiar to you, 33 on the clock, some of y'all are reaching master status right now, in something, could have recently made a project come true or made something, I'm hearing maybe could be a recipe, something like that, it's coming to a completion, fine goods, I'm hearing, leather, for my vegans out there, uh, not leather, Gold, things of like that, something like that on your mind, permanency on your mind, some sort of project having to do with your legacy. I was gonna say your name, your brand, your family. The Empress is here. <clears throat> Taurus, you may have foreseen something happening, and now the wheels are in motion, and you're feeling really good about that. King of Cups, a water sign, could be on your mind that you're thinking about. You're trying to set them up for success, they could be. Possibly an interest of yours. It could be a coworker or somebody that you're thinking auspicious thoughts about. 133 is on the clock. They could be could have been born on the 13th. They could be um, 13th of March. Uh, Pisces, or you could have real, realized something 13 years ago. Okay, a marriage is not going to happen, or you don't want that person to be married. But you do feel some heartbreak or some sense of loss looking back on what could have been with them. Maybe you didn't give them enough attention, enough time. Six of Pentacles, you feel like you did and they feel like you did not. It could definitely be that that could be the case. Three of Swords, no love loss or a perpetual love loss. Six of Swords in the reverse, not able to move forward. And Four of Swords, having some trouble sleeping or having some really crazy prophetic dreams. That could certainly be the case for you, Taurus. Queen of Pentacles, this could be you. Some Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, part of you or somebody that you're thinking of. She could be very feminine, currently in a lighter hair uh, phase, I wanted to say. So somebody who changes their hair up a lot, and um, that could be you. You could be feeling really invigorated by a new haircut or um, a new hair color, I'm hearing specifically, that you want to try, Taurus. Or you could be thinking of somebody that has um, a unique hairstyle or somebody that is growing older, a female mother figure in your life could be a Taurus. But that is always surprising you with their style. Okay, Queen of Wands in the reverse. And King of Wands in the reverse. So there is a fire sign couple or a couple of very fiery people on your mind right now. There could have been a situation where uh, your partner could have strayed with a... If you have a fire sign partner and that person is more masculine, uh, kind of fit, built. It could be um, somebody in the military or law enforcement and perhaps they had a co-worker or a fellow. Could might not be a co-worker, but it could be... Um, that this person is a lot like them, but younger, or somewhat like you, but younger, and um, that really bothers you. Or this person, this could be, if it's not a romantic situation, could definitely be, excuse my squeaky table. Y'all know what up, Magic D. This is my drawing table. It's my bay, so, I don't, you know, I don't want to get rid of anything, but y'all, WD-40, send me some WD-40. Um, never mind, I don't know if you can send that in the mail. All right, maybe you're thinking right now, what can I send in the mail to a younger, another younger water sign on your mind right now? You might be asking you to send them something in the mail, or you're thinking of communicating with somebody. If that's the case, Taurus, there, I, I'm feeling like some sense of back and forth or lacking communication there, or you want to set up some sort of uh, project or system moving forward. Where, interesting, you could be concerned over, um, you know, issues of addiction for sure. 
There could be a temptation on your mind or worldly goods, possessions, a financial aspect. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> you could be dealing with a mouse problem. Um, or you could have discovered um, somebody is in back in the picture. Another water sign. Whoa, okay. I'm definitely sensing there's a Scorpio Pisces here in the mix. Possibly two Scorpio, one Pisces, and then um, there could be some fires on people, some Leo uh, personalities involved. There's a hot mess in whatever this story is here. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarification. You feel tied between two different camps. All right, we're going to do the Steampunk Tarot. We're going to try it because it's a real crazy deck. There we go. Okay, now it wants to shuffle. It's a little tough to shuffle, but I like it. It's got some insane artwork. What is Taurus balancing? Why are you balancing a situation with several water signs and two fire signs at least? You could have a large family. You could have a friend group. Do you see what I mean by these cards? They're stubborn. You could be having trouble synthesizing two parts of yourself or two parts of your family. <clears throat> Apprentice in the reverse. All right, there could be somebody that you used to see as a protege, or you feel like you're their protege. Um, definitely some disillusionment there. Um, they could have disappointed you first at age 16, or at age 10, or at age 11, 21. They just, somebody that disappoints you a lot. Okay, you have a victory over them. You were right in some way, they were wrong. You knew this was going to happen. You were scared it was going to happen with a water sign. This person does not want to uh, change in some way. You don't want to change in some way. The suspension tank card here is basically the hangman in the reverse. So I recently was talking to somebody who was talking about these beta tanks or whatever tanks that they had in Star Wars for Luke's hand to grow back. Or like you've seen them in a lot of different movies. Like sometimes when people get uh, sliced up or something like that, or you know they might be missing a limb, they might have a, a bunch of injuries in sci-fi. They'll put them in this tank and bring them back. So you could be thinking about doing some sort of uh, time travel, or you wish you could go back and heal something. And it was in the reverse. So something having to do with this apprentice here. Two sides. The two sides are coming out clearly here. We're gonna read it as two separate sides. Moon voyage. Okay. And voyage in the reverse. Some secrets still held, you thought, for the win. Um, some things maybe that you might not have said to this um, water sign person who was on the other side of the tank. They could be going through not wanting to heal a situation with you. Okay. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. They are over the poverty mindset that you had. Maybe you made them feel... They made you feel... Just overall, you guys just did not work together correctly with this water sign here. Taurus. They're determined to move forward without you, or you're determined to move forward without them. Or There might be some secret here. Yeah, the, what? Okay. You see this here? These are identical cards from two different decks that just wanted to come out about the situation. I was asking, like, what is the problem here with this water sign? There is a lack of faith. They don't have a fleck of faith in you. You don't have a speck of faith in them. Why? Where is this going? Seven of Cups, no options. There is no option. You guys could be stuck in a karmic cycle with them. And until these secrets come out, which cannot come out for you to win... You know that it's, there's no going back with the moon voyage. You could be on a doomed moon voyage. The moon in the reverse. Because you can't ever go back. Things were said that cannot be taken back. Maybe they said something to you. This could definitely be a water sign that said something to you that made you feel like there was just no going back. This king of cups here. Captain of Submersibles, two different personalities. I was like trying to read, what are these two camps? While these two fire sign people are running amok in your life, whoever they may be, 
and you are having to keep secrets for them, you will never see eye to eye with the water sign. And yet, with these two fool cards in the reverse, you guys are not meant to do that. There are wounds that are too deep there, Taurus. Taurus, what's this Empress card you got here? Horologer. Okay, five. I feel like that's the Hierophant. Let me just double check. Let me just double check. I feel like that's the... Yeah, the Hierophant. All right. Again, a marriage in the reverse here. You know that that marriage is either doomed, um, a setup. Uh, you just don't want that marriage. You regret the marriage, even though there was love there. A lot of love. Regeneration machine in the reverse. What did I just say about that weird tank? Suspension tank in the reverse. Regeneration machine in the reverse. This is the lovers, I'm pretty sure. 20. Literally, someone is at my door at 11-11. What the H? Taurus? I'm not answering that. One more for you, Taurus. Because I don't know who that is. All right, two. The aviatrix. Beautiful. Beautiful. What? All right. Psychic high priestess. Whatever you think has already come to pass is a stubborn illusion which you have put upon yourself, contrary to your psychic feelings. You're going contrary to your psychic feelings. Seven of Pentacles. You want to build something real. You want stability. Perhaps you want some sort of barrier, some sort of boundary to protect yourself. What is this Ace of Cups here with the Ace of Submersibles? Tight card, by the way, with the Razzle Dazzle ship on it. Five of Cups in reverse. You're not over a heartbreak. You're not able to mend a heartbreak with somebody. And yet you don't want them to either ruin their marriage or pursue a marriage with a younger fire sign person. Whoa. Okay. Taurus. We're going to do some self-care cards. All this over somebody else's marriage? I don't know if I believe all that. So I think there's got to be something else going on here. Could be a past marriage, a marriage that you had. You could be on a second marriage now. Third marriage. I'm not judging. The only thing I will say is when I see two fools in the reverse like that, Taurus, that's telling me lack of faith. Severe lack of faith. Could you have lost your faith? Six of Swords in the reverse, and then over here with the Four of Swords. You're definitely very sleepy lately. You could be turning toward some older habits of maybe avoiding your problems. <clears throat> Aww. Okay, you definitely should reconnect with your kids. If you're a parent, say thank you. You have to be grateful and acknowledging others. Experience the joy of acknowledging others. It's pretty cute. Gratitude and playfulness. Get back to that part of yourself. Connection. Get back to it. There's some sort of family connection that you really need to heal. It could be also with a sibling now that I'm thinking about it because there was all these. If you come from a really huge family, I mentioned a couple different signs. I believe I mentioned like Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, male and female. Um, and then I also mentioned, uh, I feel like there's a couple Scorpio in the mix and probably Pisces, Cancer uh, personalities. Then there could also be like a Gemini in there somewhere. That could be a part of you because I feel this back and forth, not wanting to heal over a particular situation where you really do care about the person. You got the Empress twice. You got um, the High Priestess retreat. All right. You are very much, like I said, sleepy right now. Look more to your dreams. Blessings. You need to give blessings right now. Receive blessings right now. 
Oh, that's really pretty and beautiful. Okay, one more. We're going to do the Osho Zen. I love that. I love this reading, actually. At first, I was a little bit confused. But, Taurus, when you're a big boss with the Haas, and a lot of people are looking to you, that just means that you've done a lot, and you have a lot of soldiers. And some soldiers in here. You know what I'm talking about? Beyonce. Destiny's Child. Throwback. Destiny's Children. Definitely feel like your children have a destiny that involves you being supportive of them. If you have a child, if you don't have a child, then a love situation where you might have been hurt by a cheating ex. Count your blessings and look back on like, maybe losing that person is going to be a blessing for you. Flipping on it. The dream, the reverse. Yeah, a dream could have ended, come to um, something that you thought about somebody. It's, this is deep. A lot of disillusionment here. Love these Oshos. These are crazy. Y'all can hear my accent too. Osho. Osho. Tarot. I have a weird accent. I've always been told this. Guess my accent in the comments. <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you because of the absurdity of this. All these motherfuckers that you got. Like, you might have a big family. Uh, and, yeah. There's a lot of misunderstanding and disillusionment here. Morality, what is right and what is wrong? This one creeps me out because it reminds me of Katamari Damacy. And Katamari Damacy has always reminded me of something I've never seen before. So this is really crazy. I might have seen this in the past life. What in the H? Look at that. Okay, so he's got a prison inside. Morality could be both a gift and a curse. I see the receptive hand gesture here. I see six people. And then, and then I see all these other connections. So maybe you feel like you don't know who you're responsible for anymore. Existence in the reverse. Hmm. What has happened that has caused Taurus to feel disconnected from existence? Somebody could have put the brakes on something you're... Uh, could just really be feeling this Mercury retrograde hard. Hard, Taurus. And you're feeling a little bit iced out, for sure. You want to be brought back into the fold. You want to be reconnected, blessed. And you want to be healed. I would say there are at least three to four different people that right now you're being told. Maybe you're having a hard like Saturn return or something like that. I don't know. I honestly do not know, but that could be something <clears throat> for some of you. There's a lot of people right now that you are. I'm really, I, I'm not able to say if you really want to let them go or bring them back. But if they're your children, then they're your blessings. And if they're your siblings, then they're your blessings. Now, if they're a lover and that lover is not your lover in return, then it is a blessing to let that lover go. And if that's too simple, then y'all don't get the basics. All right, Magic Demon, share, like, share, and subscribe below. Let me know in the comments if anything does resonate with you.